this weekend. And on today's show, who we got in the building? Wait, wait, wait. Super duper humble. I was going to do that, actually. Uh, Damn. You should have <laughs> did it. You should have did it. I was, but I was like, I don't. I wasn't sure how you feel about me nah, taking your, your moniker. Thing. You should have did it. It is. It do is. It. Do it right now. Wait, wait, wait. I, I was like, in the car. Is right? that good? That's fire. All right. I don't want to look stu- uh, like stupid or silly on the nah, show, nah, but nah, you know nah. what I mean. Nah. All right. So, first of all, thank you for coming on the show nah, today. thanks for having us. Appreciate of course. It. How could we not? I appreciate Project it. Project Pat's my favorite, by the way. Hey, that's one of my that's one of my favorites. The opener, obviously. I started dying laughing. <laughs> I was like, no, he did it. That was Danny's idea too. Oh, man. for real? <laughs> Shout out to Danny for that opener. That's like the best opener of all times. First of all, I could hear all your music in uh stadiums. That's number one. It's very rare to hear an artist create literally almost every single song, maybe but one. Wow. Every single song you can hear in a stadium or at a festival. So I definitely want to see you at a festival at some point next Appreciate year or this it. year. Thank you. All right. So you're originally from St. Lucia. Yeah, St. Lucia. You been and there? You, no, nah, I never, but I was close close enough, close enough. St. Martin. No, oh, no, no. St. Martin. St. Martin. I, I like mess it. with St. Martin. Can I curse? Yeah, who I cares? I curse a lot by accident, so I just wanted to make sure that. We I don't feel to you here, baby. All right, let's do it. <laughs> nah, St. Martin is fire. You know, they just got hit with um, a hurricane. Again? Not too, nah, nah, nah. Oh, the one for. I was like, God but damn. They still, they, they still recovering. <laughs> Uh, well, yeah, of course. Uh, yeah. We stayed at one of those nice resorts. I felt bad they was asking us for money. He was like, I oh, kind of don't got it like that, but <laughs> we, we sent you a it. dollar or something. <laughs> you know, y'all treated us good. Nah, facts. But you're definitely from St. Lucia. Yeah, St. Lucia. You were born and raised in Brooklyn. How did you break it to no, your mom? I was actually born in St. Lucia. I'm sorry. It's all good. Born, it's in, all good. born in St. Lucia, raised in Brooklyn. Born raised in Brooklyn, yeah. How did you break it to your mom that you wanted to be in music? First of all, because you were a DJ first, then you turned into a rapper. Yeah, so I was DJ. <clears throat> excuse me. I was DJing straight out of. Um, Straight out of high school. Oh, wow. I was still in high school. It's to the point where I... Well, I started in my bedroom just DJing because I couldn't get no gigs. Mm. Um, So, I, you know about Ustream? Yeah, I do. So, I started on Ustream. I was DJing, broadcasting straight from my room. Mm. And it was to the point where we were up late, so late, I couldn't get up from school in the morning. It was bad. Um, Your mother said, what are you doing? Yeah, my mom... Bad St. Lucian. Yeah, my mom... <laughs> no, it's all good. <laughs> it's all good. My mom... <laughs> You know, the typical West Indian parent, right. they want you to go to school and go to co- finish high school, right. obviously, and then go to college. Right. And um, just do it the, the Caribbean way. Right. But that's not what... I mean, I went... I finished high school. I graduated high school. Mm. And then I did like two semesters in college with Danny. Oh, okay, okay. So that's how you guys met? That's how we met. We met um at Kingsborough. Mm. But I was just... We were just wasting our time going there. Mm. Like, Well, you know, that's how it is these days. So, yeah, my mom... My mom didn't... She didn't support the, the the music at first. She mm. was just like, yo, I think you should just go to school. Mm. And if you're not going to go to school, just get a job and just try to figure out what you want to do with your life. Um, But now she's support me. <laughs> now um, she's like, yeah, I yeah. see it. I see the big dreams. Yeah. So what was the transition like for you to become the DJ to the rapper? Because I know you said in the past that the reason why you made that transition was because there wasn't anybody really interested in your your production side of things. Yeah, because, you know, at first, when just when I was DJing, like, my friends always used to tell me, like, yo, you should produce, because I used to make some remixes, mm. and they was feeling it. But when I first started making the beats, it was just like, you know how that goes. Yeah, yeah. It was trash. I ain't even gonna lie. It wasn't that good, <laughs> you know? And no, I so know. gradually, I had to just... What I started doing was just learning, trying to learn as much as possible because I was self-taught. Right, you know? right. So, you know, and the good thing about the internet right now, you could just go on YouTube and find tutorials. And That's a fact. I used to use Fruity Loops back in the day. I never actually I never use Fruity Loops. But really? F- I, it's cheap. I re- no, 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 definitely. Fruity Loops is fire, and I respect everyone who uses it because mm. um, most producers who do use it, they draw beats. Right, right, right. And for the people that's watching... When you draw beats, that's mm-hmm. like yeah, just pretty much clicking on a on a computer. I can't do that. <laughs> Don't I know it? Yeah, <laughs> and I I think that's fire because I can't do that. I have to actually play oh, yeah, my yeah. beats and stuff like that. So either way, it's fire. So I respect everybody that uses Fruity Loops. So what mm-hmm. instrument do you actually play? I actually don't play any instrument. Um, mm-hmm. I started learning guitar, but I never really finished learning. But I play like keys by ear. So okay. I know a few Definitely. chords. But for the most part, we just play by ear. Oh, and whatever, definitely. whatever feels good, whatever sounds good, we go with it. Uh, dope. So, like looking back on the situation before you made that transition, 
do you look back and you you see any artists that like turn down your music and they they hit you up like hey man they come back around not as yet not, not as, as yet, yet. Uh, we not that lit yet but we working definitely definitely we working. So i look forward to it for sure so let's talk about your uh humble project that you released two years ago humble gardens yeah humble Gardens. so what was that process like for you when you was doing it? it's about a seven track was it a seven track ep yeah so humble gardens we 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 released about two years ago mm-hmm. so just we let's start from the title the title is supposed to mimic like a chinese restaurant name yeah. right so that's why we went with that and also it just represented us as a team and me as well as mm-hmm. far as my name super duper humble right and just you know humble gardens it just went perfect right but as far as the process um i just literally just started that's that was from the transition from me being a dj mm-hmm. to creating like making beats and creating music um i'm gonna give you a little backtrack on that so after i linked up with danny because i knew him for a while mm-hmm. and and for the people that don't know that's that's leon um so i had a record called i'm michael jackson right um and it was like one of your breakout singles yeah so this is before like i didn't even release that record yet mm-hmm. and I let him hear it. We were in the studio one night and I let him hear it. He's like, yo, what you doing with this? Mm. And I was like, yo, I just, you know, I just, <laughs> I just had it and I didn't know what to do with it. He's like, yo, let's put it out. Uh, we dropped it on SoundCloud. It went crazy. We had like a million streams. Right. Nice. So, so that was fire. Um, as far as <clears throat> that was, I, I like telling that story. Yeah, just for like, sure. But so after we, we dropped that record, we was mm-hmm. like, yo, let's just keep going. And we locked in in the studio for about two, three months Dope. and just knocked out Humble Gardens. Um, as far as uh, the process, we mm-hmm. were just eating Chinese food. <laughs> I get the theme now. I can definitely yeah. get the theme now. That's, that's where it came around. We were just eating Chinese food before every session and just going in and just killing shit. And it was just like, my homeboy Cash was just like, yo, you should just name the project Humble Gardens. <laughs> since, since y'all since you love Chinese food so much and I was like yo that's kind of dope and Definitely. then he sent me the he was he was at a restaurant a Chinese restaurant one day and he just took a picture of the wall that's okay. why the, the artwork is yeah there. I was like I definitely that was from a Chinese restaurant for sure it's like almost every Chinese restaurant that you see in New York City like, I never understood what is that was that good luck the like cat a, right the cat but not the cat only but the cat was a uh, part of it but the, the wall itself is like a lot of dollar bills and like right. money on the wall i never understood why there's money on it but it looked like cool it's, it's probably like from the like first dollars of business probably i think so. i'm assuming i could be wrong because you I know i heard that before so it could Asian be that americans are a little different when they do things it's more symbolic or more deep when they do yeah certain stuff so i'm not too sure about that definitely so let's get into stepping because stepping really kind of like i don't know held you to the level that yeah. you're at today i'm grateful for stepping a lot um stepping <sighs> stepping that's your fire. Thank you. It's very really fire. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, Steppin' was just one of those records. It's like a, one of those flex records. Mm. But if you listen to the words, there's a lot of like witty. I'm no, saying a is. lot of witty things in there. Um, like my one of my favorite lines in Steppin' is I make flips out of my flops. And people <laughs> hear it and be like, yo, that's that's simple. But that's, if you really think about it, that's like, I think that's like a really... I could relate to it a lot because right. I, I made a lot of flops, especially last year. Like I made a lot of flops last year and I'm just flipping them right now as we speak. Really? So, you know, that's that's like a I live by that mm-hmm. to just continue making flips out of my flops. You know, so I step in. So any songs off of any of your newly we'll get into the three uh, tracks you just released within the month. Anything off of there that you flipped out? Because like, like I said earlier, you got a lot of hits on your record. Thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. As far as, um, what do you mean by flipping it out? Like anything that you've done in the past that you felt was a flop that you flipped it to one of those songs that you have out right now? Oh, as far as records, no. Because our process, if we don't like it in the first, mm-hmm. I'd say five, ten minutes, we scrap it. Mm. So if it's out, I like it. Definitely. You know, <laughs> I'm just as far as the flips, flip making flips out of my flops. I'm just from a, just a general perspective and just life in general. Just I just if if I think I flopped on something, I mm-hmm. just want to just keep going. You know, definitely. definitely. So keep progressing and just keep growing. So, but definitely stepping. 
it's we had like 1.8 billion views on TikTok right now. Wow. So I'm super, super grateful for that. Super humble. <laughs> <laughs> no pun. Shout out to all the um, TikTok influencers. Shout out to the team over at TikTok for just supporting us. They've just been hell giving yeah. us hella support lately. So um, I appreciate it. Thank Definitely. you. Definitely. So for the uh, disconnected, and I'm busy. Hey. And then you got back then. Back you then. All, all of those, first, first of all, they're all fire. I'm not saying it just to say because you're here, but uh, if yeah. you weren't, I would make up something I appreciate different. I'm like, yeah, it. so that's really good song. <laughs> but no, they're literally fire. And that, this, that's how, not to cut you, but yeah, that's you how can. we roll in the studio too. Like, there's no yes men in the group. Yeah. So if something is whack, we could all say it's whack. Like, no matter who <laughs> comes up with it, like, yo, that's whack. That's Our thing is just to be like, yo, that's dirt. Yeah. Like, I would play something and my DJ that's not here right now, obviously, mm-hmm. but his name is DJ Binks. And he'd be like, yo, that's dirt. <laughs> and I'm like, all right, let's scrap it. So Definitely. Yeah. No, that's that's good to have around you. But with those three tracks that you just released, is that a follow-up to a new EP or a new project that's coming out? Absolutely. We have about, I'd say, 30 records unreleased. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm still trying to figure out how I want to release them, if I want to go the single route or if mm-hmm. I want to go do project-based. Because mm-hmm. I know... It's really a single industry right now, mm. so um, we're still trying to figure it out. We don't we don't have any dates yet, but we might just drop a project next week. Definitely, because we, you know we're independent, humble island. I got my own label now, so I'm grateful for that. Super grateful. Definitely, and it, just real quick, just to touch on uh, the whole Rock Nation, what made you start Humble Islands? Um, just ownership. Just Definitely. you know, we did the label thing. We we were we signed to Rock Nation, um, sometime last year, and mm. you know I I think it just wasn't the right fit for us. You right. know, shout out to everybody over at Rock Nation. It was just certain people who didn't who made it really difficult on their behalf. Yeah, yeah. And then just didn't make it the right fit. But you know, for the most part, shout out to Tata, shout out to Jay, shout out to everybody over there. Definitely. And how do you feel having humble humble islands right now? So moving forward with everything you're doing. I'm just inspired, super inspired, especially because, you know, like I said, ownership, you know, you want to just own your, obviously own your masters and Mm -hmm. control everything that's happening. You don't want somebody to tell you when to drop music, when to drop your video, when, oh, you can't do this. Oh, this is too provocative. Oh, this is too dirty. Nah. Yeah. You know, especially with my music, my music is like sexually driven and just (laughs) fun and wild. So I want to do whatever I want to do. If I want to dance with a sex doll, that's what I want to (laughs) do. You feel me? Take it back to Project Fat real quick. And yeah, if <laughs> that I want first line, <laughs> you feel me? If I want to have my my voicemail is like, "Yo, it's your boy Super Duper Humble. I'm getting my dick sucked right now." <laughs> I want to do that because that's at the end of the day, that's what the fans love. The fans want you to be yourself. Yeah. So I'm just trying to, and I'm 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 keen on being myself. Right. I don't want to be anybody else. I don't want to do anything that's that might just get me views. Yeah. I just want if I'm not comfortable with it. I'm not going to do it. So if I did it, I'm comfortable with it fully. Definitely, definitely. And just to kind of wrap up everything, when are you going on tour? When can we catch a show from you? We're actually on tour right now. So shout out to Find Your Grind. Mm. Um, We've been doing a... We actually did two festivals already because I know you touched base on festivals earlier. We did uh, See You Boulder Mm -hmm. on uh, the 24th. Uh, last week, sometime last week, we did, uh, I can't remember right. Oh, Missouri, University okay, okay. of Missouri. And on uh, this Thursday, we had UMass, Massachusetts Amherst. And Check we have, that out. We have, a lot of more, we have a lot more offers coming in. We just didn't confirm those yet. Mm-hmm. But for the most part, we just been killing these festivals. See you, Boulder was crazy. Mizzou was crazy. And I'm looking forward to Thursday. So. Definitely. So check them out Thursday. What's that, the 19th? That's the 19th. The 19th and, at UMass. And the 27th, we're at in Ohio. Oh, Ohio, damn. Yeah. Y'all moving. We trying. Definitely. Y'all definitely We're making moving. flips out of these flops. We caught a lot of flops last year. <laughs> Listen, thank you for even making time for me. Nah, I thanks for having it. me. Thanks so this is my me. favorite part of the show. Don't take too long to think. I feel like you you got this. Nah, it's called nah, nah. Five Fast Facts. Let's do it. This is about super humble, super duper humble. Let's do it. So ready? You you go ahead and do your little five. You don't have a timer, but don't go. Don't, don't take too long. All right. Five <laughs> Facts is super duper humble. I'm from St. Lucia. Boom. I eat a lot of Chinese food. (laughs) Damn. See? 
this is a tough one. I'm 28. Oh wow. You don't look like it. I, thought I look you were like, like I'm 40. Oh, nah, nah, nah. You look like you're I've been here in the gym lately. Nah, I appreciate okay, it. Don't flatter good. me neither. <laughs> you feel me? All right, He's we got two more. No more. Yeah, two two more. Number five. Uh, this one got to be a good one because it's the last yes. one. I feel like you shared a lot today too. Yeah, my life is not that interesting. <laughs> I guess that's number five. <laughs> number five, my favorite place in the world is Turks and Caicos. Y'all gotta go there. Dope. That's actually on my bucket list. If you, whenever you go and hit me, we pulling up. We all going. Definitely. Well, super. Turks. Good. Again, I appreciate you Yo, making time for thank as well. Thank you. I appreciate you. And talk with us. I'm Julia Van Sweeker, and this is Super Duper Humble. Thank you so much for listening, guys. Wait, wait, wait. Hey. <laughs>